classification of a service animal. So California state law, and I'll go over this in a moment, uh, with uh, emotional support animals, they just passed a new law as of January 1st, 2022, that um, has more definitions of what an emotional support animal is um, and some new laws uh, because there were individuals that were falsifying that their animals were either service animals and uh, and that's where um, the air, um, oh, uh, TSA, uh, for air, air, um, airplanes, they, uh, passed a new law where, uh, no longer emotional support animals can, uh, ride, uh, for free anymore, but we'll go over that in a moment, uh, in a moment. So this is also punishable as a fel felony or a misdemeanor imprisonment up to six months or up to a thousand dollar fine a misdemeanor punished, uh, punishable by a fine no more than uh, $2,500. So uh, there are, uh, you know, laws against, fault, you know, saying that you have a service animal and it's not. So barriers uh, to support animals. So there's, again, there's been an explosion of fraudulent animals, concerns about pets causing danger to their trained service animals, uh, individuals and industries, just they don't understand the ADA rules and, you know, the laws and um, majority of uh, industries and business owners, employees, and even myself, I didn't know really what, uh, what a service animal was, what their, you know, what they could and couldn't do. And especially how beneficial they are uh, to people in general. I, I think I mentioned earlier that um, I don't have a service animal, but I have four cats and I have two dogs, two German shepherds. And, uh, you know, I've been 100% remote, working remote for the state for going on three years. And uh, my personal anxiety, uh, you know, and also having the um, cognitive disorder of ADHD, uh, you know, it, it really exasperated over this time. And uh, I tell you what, being preoccupied of feeding the cats and walking the dogs and having to care and nurture them along with my family, it kept me busy enough that I didn't, I don't spend a lot of time on my own anxiety and my own mental health issues. So um, I am very thankful for my, my